So you found yourself with an animation that loops smoothly. This can be the built-in Unreal Run animations, an animation from your Mixamo or Unreal Marketplace, or even an animation you made yourself in Blender or another 3D software. For VJ loops, dancing animations will be pretty common, but how do you get them to sync to the music? In this video, we'll show you how to sync any animation in Unreal to any BPM for synchronizing to music. Ba -bom. Okay, uh, this first video is going to show you how to sync any linked animation in Unreal to any beat per minute. And it's a pretty simple formula, really. Uh, what you do first is you take your original time, in this case 1.1 1 .1 and 2 thirds. You can find this pretty easily by opening up any skeletal mesh and going over to your animations. Hovering over in an animation and you'll get a little text box that shows you the details, one of being the sequence length, 1.66667. And you're going to divide that by your target length or duration, which is 2.4. And you can find this by going to the beat per minute calculator website, is what I do. And uh, type in 100 beats per minute is what we're looking for. And find the closest match uh, to your original duration and uh, you could use 8 or 16 but that's going to really slow it down either way uh, you pick your target duration in seconds and divide it out punch in your calculator and the number that comes out is going to be 0.694444 rate scale and the reason we used the word rate scale uh, which I wouldn't usually use in this uh, place because that's the term that Unreal uses to tell you how fast or slow your animation is being played. Anyway, uh, 100 beats per minute, uh, 0.69444 is what this animation would be. And you type in rate scale and save, and that should lock in your default speed at 100 beats per minute. Uh, you're still able to modify that if you need, but if you drag it into a sequence, it will show up as that rate. Um, so now we're going to make a new sequence. Right click, then go to Cinematics and New Level Sequence. You can name that whatever you want. Our target speed is 19.2 seconds, and we'll multiply that by 60 uh, sec frames per second to get 1,152 frames. Now we can go into Unreal and type this directly into the frame I don't know box it's that thing on the top left that's gonna jump your cursor to the desired frame and if we look I got it pretty darn close to 19.2 seconds I believe I am one frame off once you get your uh, your sequence links to the correct number of frames you can add your skeletal mesh or actor if you made it into an actor to your timeline and add your animation and if you hover over it you will you should see it actually say the 0.69 scale um, it uh, inserted the animation where the cursor was which was at the end so we'll drag it to the beginning and full bring it to the full duration of the timeline if we zoom in really close to be super particular and finicky we can see that the animation finishes exactly where the uh, animation finishes perfect all right and now suddenly your animation is looping at 100 beats per minute. Woohoo! I guess. Oh, uh, where'd all those lights come from? I guess you'll have to tune into our next tutorial to find out.